I think it's meaningful for the company. I think Atrium has been a very uh, successful, fast-growing company over the last uh, two, three years. I've been privileged and blessed to be at the helm of the company, and I think it's a reflection of uh, the collective effort of all my colleagues at corporate and uh, in different business units. And I think it's uh, NBJ is a well-recognized um, association in the industry, so it's always nice to be uh, to be able to um, to participate in such events. Well, again, I think I think it's a reflection of uh, the progress that uh, Atrium has done. I think we are uh, we have strong values in terms of uh, providing consumer with uh, high-end products. We've been very uh, meticulous, very uh, rigorous in acquiring brands that fits our value uh, geographically by channel. So I think um, I think so far the success of Atrium has been uh, has been pretty um, pretty good. It's a roll-up strategy, although at the same time I think we cultivate uh, some uh, group synergies. So I think. Uh, I would say that uh, the atrium visibility, which has been enhanced over the last a few years, is probably um, the foundation for this award to be um, to be to be given. Yeah, actually, my background <coughs> is not the science; it's not from the industry. My background is a finance a strategy. Uh, corporate uh, development. So I was involved in the investment and private equity, and actually, I was uh, the advisor <coughs> of Atrium, the previous, uh, the founder, I guess, and the previous uh, CEO, for about five years. And actually, was involved in the public offering, where uh, or when uh, Atrium became public in 2005. Very became very close to the uh, the then founder CEO, and when he decided to um, to leave and do something else. I raised my hand and I went to the board of directors and asked if I could be considered to be uh, appointed CEO. So I came at it from uh, the financial angle, but also I think as uh, as we see a lot in uh, in this industry, you know, you can you become passionate about it and you become convinced that this is uh, something good. It's great to get money when you when you work, but you need to also feel that you're contributing to society and that clearly that that company fit that uh, that that table. Well, I think um, a lot has happened over the last 18 months. We went through a what we call a financial tsunami. Uh, I wouldn't call it a recession, but we went through some difficult times. And I think this industry has shown that it's not recession-proof, but certainly resilient. And this resiliency, I think, is a function of the fact that people are really uh, embracing the, uh, the, uh, the holistic health therapy that uh, our industry is bringing forward. I think we are at the convergence of nutrition and, uh, and pharma. I think this, this industry is, uh, I think this industry is getting healthier. However, there's no question there's some bumps on the road with uh, the heightened regulation, which are actually very good for the industry. And that passage is not easy, uh, as evidenced by different initiatives that we have to go through right now. But fundamentally, I think this industry is there to survive, and it will survive. And I think that although we're nimble and small compared to the, the food industry and compared to the uh, pharma industry, I think we have a role to play, and we will play it in the future. Well, in, in our case, uh, part of our success is because we've acquired healthy company with solid management, uh, the risk of a roll-up strategy is that you, know, you get some pieces that fall apart uh, as you go along, and that could be very difficult to consolidate. I think that the fundamentally this industry um, mass is important, critical mass is important. As we go through heightened regulation, we're going to go through clinical trials, we're going to go through more fundamental research, applied research. So I think the size is important. So I think to grow will allow more investment, but at the same time, uh, there needs to be a, um, a strategic uh, path or canvas. And I think all, all the values have to be respected. Otherwise, uh, you end up where the sum of the parts uh, will not be greater than the, t the total. So I think, in, in essence, I think critical mass is important, showing the same values. And I think uh, with that, uh, in our case, it's geography, Europe, Asia, uh, North America, its product in terms of uh, condition specific, which we're getting more and more in terms of the, the growth uh, pattern, and uh, again, healthy company with uh, strong management. That's an easy recipe, but. Uh <laughs>